sin once committed is about to be repeated again. Sometimes we find ourselves in situations and because of fear, we resort to committing sin. Abraham is now 99 years old after living in Mamre for approximately 20 years. Immediately after the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, Abraham decided to move south. They journeyed to the Negev region and settled between Kadesh and Shur in a place called Gerar. While living in Gerar, Abraham introduced his wife Sarah as his sister to King Abimelech. A sin once committed is repeated again, all in the fear of his life. Abimelech took Sarah into his household, but God intervened and warned the king in a dream that he is a dead man because the woman that he is with is the wife of another man. God prevented Abimelech from touching Sarah. King Abimelech was so upset he could not figure out why Abraham would do such a thing unto him. And so he confronted Abraham who admits his deception. Abimelech told the Lord he was unaware of his mistake. He said he took Sarah in innocence and integrity only after Abraham told him she was his sister. The Lord knew Abimelech's heart was pure and he told him he had prevented him from having relations with Sarah. Despite Abraham's wrongdoing, Abimelech acts with integrity and returned Sarah. This unpleasant situation caused King Abimelech and his household to be barren. All the females living in his household became barren. And so God told Abimelech to go to Abraham, return Sarah, because Abraham is a prophet and he will pray for him. However, Abimelech wanted to know why Abraham did what he did. And so he confronted him and asked and Abraham told him he assumed Gerar was a godless place and he feared someone would kill him and take Sarah if they learned that they were married. And Abimelech took sheep and oxen and men servants and women servants and gave them unto Abraham and restored him Sarah, his wife. So Abraham prayed unto God and God healed Abimelech and his wife and his maid servants and they bear children. For the Lord had fast closed up all the wombs of the house of Abimelech because of Sarah, Abraham's wife. Abraham's lack of faith led to a potentially dangerous situation. As we know, honesty is the best policy. It is always best to be honest and rely on God than resorting to our deceitful actions. That's it for now for a chapter a day, Genesis 20. Until next time, walk good. God bless you.